Hi everybody! This week we will do a video to how to craft a balaclava on the circular knitting machine at the express king size. First we will cast the machine by doing one in the front, one in the back for the first row with waist yarn. Waist yarn will help us to graph our uh, project at the end. So I will do five to ten rows for this project. Put it in the yarn feeder and then I crank. There. Put it faster a little bit. And then I will continue with my project yarn. Put my waist yarn in the middle, the tail in the middle, and I will come with my project yarn. My uh, yarn feeder is kind of loose, so that's why I don't put my yarn on the bottom hole. I put it in the upper hole so that way it, get, it won't get stuck. So you put your counter now to zero and then you start cranking. Pull some yarn so that way it won't, it won't add too much tension on your pin or needle and then you crank. I lost one I'm just gonna go and grab it with my the tip of my needle and put it back on the pin. Then I will crank. Doesn't matter because I will remove the waist yarn at the end. There. Crank, crank, crank. When I will get my project to touch the table, I will turn it like this, like a turtleneck, to prevent drop stitch. Now I will add some more yarn because I use all the pink I have at home. That's the last little ball that I have. So I hold it in my finger, make sure it, it's been grabbed by the pin. And then I do a double knot. Very important to do the knot. If you don't, you won't stay together. <laughs> and you'll be sad. So I will crank like this till I get under it and 10 rows and then I pull some yarn like a little bit more than a meter so that way I will have enough to sew it at the end put my tail in the middle bring some waist yarn put it in the same place that my working yarn or my project yarn pull on it a little bit and then I crank and I will do five or ten rows or till I don't have any more yarn. Turn it and continue to crank. When I will don't have any more yarn to feed the yarn feeder, the machine will crank a full circle and then it starts releasing some stitches. That's the cast off. It's the easiest way to do the cast off. There. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Bring my pail of yarn together. Bring my one side in the other one like this to do like a neck warmer and then I will start cra grafting all it together. So uh, with the tip of my needle I will go grab the old stitch down and then go up on the new one.
put the tail inside won't bother you so tip you up and down tip you go down and up with the tip of your needle you go up and down don't worry if you don't get it like right away took me like three or three or uh, two or three days to figure it out correctly I was not swinging it the right side but now I'm okay I'm happy to share it with you so I learned something new you learn something new too we share so I continue like that I will put it a little bit faster soon but don't worry I will slow it down at the end it's kind of relaxing when you got it uh, don't put too much tension on it because you don't want to uh, be uh, not regular with your stitches you have to go and not too tight not too loose look good already I'm happy I'm proud of myself <laughs> it's good there almost there important to bring all the stitches so the old one to the new one and then you remove the waist yarn I have removed the white but the video was off after 20 minutes I forgot to put record back so that's why you won't see the white to be removed and then I will remove the green or khaki this one just pull on your yarn be careful sometimes the yarn divide and get stuck and you don't want to uh, ruin your your work so ta -da, it's done look great so it's stretch 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 and then you add your tail and try the best you can I'm not perfect but I at least I try to do better each time so this is was this is my third my fourth project right now you will see more on the future video I have seven video in advance right now so I be good no stress like that so I will hide it between the two layer be careful not wrap the other side keep yourself between and I will go the other side I the other tail why I have two tail not the same place it's because I start and end it not on the same place but usually you should stop the same place and I did between the two there like I did the other side stretch it again and it was very stretchy and don't worry it will fit everybody on their head to go to the neck it's perfect my husband try it you could wear it like on the picture right now right there that's a hundred ten rows so now I will show you how I did my pom-pom with the pom-pom clover maker I did that with all the leftover yarn that I have like I did for the, the hat by the way the hat the hat was in the 20 minute that is missing on the video but I will tell you the hat is uh, 80 rows no waste yarn you just uh, cast on with your regular yarn and then you remove it with your yarn needle each stitch and you do like uh, with the neck warmer you bring one side in the other side and you pull the two string and you got your hat voila so I continue with my uh, pom-pom I start with the, the gray the 
tar darker color. Very important to add a lot of tension on your pom pom. Usually when I do pom pom, my, my hand hurts. So it's normal because more you go tight, more your pom pom will be tight and very uh, strong, wrong, not wrong, <laughs> circle, nice circle pom pom. And it will stay to all together. It won't uh, divide. La. So I switched the color to the pink and gray. I will do a couple turn like that. And then go back with the darker color. So that way my pom pom will be like uh, with different rows on it, in it. That's the way I like when I have leftover yarn like that. It give a nice uh, and not the uh, impact, but uh, I'm not sure the word. But a punch. It will give a different kind of pom pom. Will be cute. So now I do with the pink, flashy pink. Cut it and come back with the gray, cause I have a lot of gray. But uh, just a little bit of pink. I use all the pink I have. <laughs> I will have to go through some bin downstairs to get some more yarn to continue. My uh, my goals right now is to lower my stash because I'm uh, I'm preparing myself a studio in the basement, so I have a little bit too much yarn. So, because I have somebody who brought me seven bag, full garbage bag full of yarn, all new one that she was moving in uh, a smaller apartment and didn't have any place. So I will go the other side right now for my pom pom. And I will start with the darker color like I did the other side. So I will do darker color, the pink and gray, and the pink, and then go back to the gray for the pom pom. Yeah, I received seven big bag of uh, yarn. So we'll try to pass through that a little bit and I will try to fix my studio downstairs it's a dream for me to finally have a place my husband will help me we already paint everything only two shelf to paint white and I will show you uh, in my uh, Facebook group some pictures soon don't worry so I continue uh, my hurt my hand hurts I continue turning around my clever pom pom maker those uh, those pom pom maker are available uh, on the internet or a lot of place that sell yarn so if your favorite place doesn't have it ask they are probably gonna order some so almost done this side too and then I will close it time to get some sharp scissors cut my long piece of yarn fold it in in half like this and cut the yarn those scissors are very very sharp i love them i have them since like 10 years i keep my stuff a long time <laughs> so time to put your your yarn between it like this and you have to tighten it very strong a knot and then another one and go the other side you could see already that the pom pom will show some rows of colors hope you will enjoy it like I did so the pom pom it's time to open it Move it carefully, pull, close it for another time, and then you shake the pom pom. And then you take your scissors and you just cut the excess. That's it, voila, a perfect pom pom is done. I love those machines. Just a little bit of uh, cutting and it's done. 
I like that one. So put that aside. And it will be time to do the uh, neck warmer attach on the hat. And the hat is 80 rows of uh, hat. And 110 for the neck warmer. So I will turn my uh, hat on the, the wrong side that I have the little step in the color when you do the color change. I always put that on the back so you look better in front. Give a more professional look. And then I will go grab one stitch on the bottom part and one stitch on the top. And this is a full grafting. I used some gray because I didn't have any more <laughs> pink. But it's okay. You will see how to do it. I'm not in the right angle, but don't worry. I will set. See, you see that it's the wrong side. It's the back. Because you see the step, the color change on the gray and the pink. But it, it won't bother because it's going to be on the back. So I will continue like you see better. So I will go and grab one stitch. And oh, make sure you, you stay on the same column. So that way it won't be like a twist work. Now. It will go straight and look good at the end. You want something to look great and to be comfortable to wear on your head. And, and this stitch won't put it tight, so it will be stretchy and comfortable to wear. Because it continue the same stitch. I don't know if, if I see it right <laughs> or if you understand what I try to say. It will look good. It's a nice way to attach two pieces together. Don't miss next week video. I have a new one for you. I have seven prepared already, so you be ready. You be ready. You be uh, <laughs> busy to wash it for a couple of weeks. I always try to do a, a video every week. Sometimes I have time to make more. So don't miss it. And if you already uh, a subscriber, don't forget to click on the little bell. So that way, every time I put a new video, you be on the team of the people that see the video first. So you be the lucky one. More light would help. Sorry for that. Sometimes I forgot. There. And continue sewing it. already look good I'm proud like the way it look already hope you enjoy it if you're still with me right now at 18 minutes say smile in the comment I will be happy to read it so you give me an idea how long you watch the video <laughs> Almost finished. Very important to continue and don't miss any stitch. There. Almost time to close it, but I will grab two more. Oh, three, three. One. Two and three to be equal to the other side. And you could see inside it look good to make a nice finishing touch. So you're going to be okay with that. Cut this tail of yarn. Just 
put it back on my little needle and I will go pick my needle keep a loop and go in the loop to do a knot push it with my finger tight and I detail between the two layer like this I will pull on it to hide the little a knot there it's hide it's look good and you you will do it with the same color of the your, your hat so won't bother you won't see it like me with the gray color so keep a loop go in the loop to do the knot push it on with your finger and I did in the double layer almost finished and you're still with me thank you thank you time I will to, to test it on my foam head can test it on my head right now because I have to, to change all the setting of my camera so I do it on my foam head it looked perfect I'm happy 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 okay time to remove it and put the little pom-pom now so to put the pom-pom to make sure your pom-pom stay uh, uh, very tight on the, the hat not loose you don't pick it on the middle of it you pick on the side and you will do the same thing with your other tail you never put your uh, pom-pom in the middle just a little bit on the side like one centimeter maybe and then you turn your hat attach it with double knot very tight you want it to stay there and then you hide it in the double layer of your hat so now your project is not hat or um, neck warmer now it's a balaclava see right now you see a hat a neck warmer and to finish a balaclava so it's done with the pom pom oh I like it I really like it my friend will, will adore it she loves pink so I will put it on for a last test to see how it's look lovely I love it I love it so I put you a little picture hope you enjoy it see you next week for the next video bye bye